floor shot of the this side here and uh, it's looking pretty rough after the rain on it. Tyler, you want to say hello? Hello. Tyler Bennett, Linear Mobile Detailing. Isn't that the name? Yep. Linear Mobile Detailing. Linear Mobile Detailing. Need your camper polish. He's the man. Does the best job around. This side over here looks new. Here's the man doing a, an amazing job on our camper. This is Tyler Bennett. Uh, tell us what you're doing here, Tyler. Well, on the top, rotary compounding with PC1 by Auto Magic. You can get it at detaillink.com. Uh, in order to get off the real heavy oxidation, uh, it can be used with foam or wool on this application. I didn't need to be as, you know, dirty as to use wool. Didn't need to cut that much, so I just used foam. Yeah, this one is being five or six years old. It, uh, you know, it's had some oxidation, but it's not real mm -hmm. bad, right? So Yeah, it was worse on top and in the front. Yeah. Uh, the sides, though, were getting... It, Getting away with just using a one step on a orbital process, so yeah, it looks great. It looks like new. Whatever, yep. you, whatever you're using there, that, that's a good product because it's uh, making it look fantastic. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's my favorite cutting compound right now. Is it, is it a new, newer one that you're using, or it is new to me? It yeah. is not new by any stretch. Yeah. I think it's a couple decades old. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's new to me. Yeah. I've been using it a couple of years now. Okay. So yeah. it uh, yeah. it's working well. It's working really well. I like the fact that I don't need to go over it with a a finishing polish on gel coated surfaces afterwards. I can just put on any kind of wax or sealant I want afterwards and it looks great. Yeah. Because it finishes pretty well, even though it cuts really hard. Mm. So if anybody watching uh, needs to get their camper polished um, or boat, uh, yeah, you know, uh, give Tyler a call. Um, he, Lanier Mobile Detailing. We'll put his information below, and uh, he'll be glad to help you out. He's in the North Georgia area, so give him a shout. Thank you. Appreciate it, Tyler. Mm -hmm. What's up? We're back. It's been a couple weeks since we had the camper polished over here, and uh, as you can see, we got big feet. Yep. Big feet. That's right. Go. We, okay. we got two Bigfoot 10 fours here. Uh, but what, what we really want to do right now is we just want to do a walk around on the 2014 model where they, he, Tyler polished it up. And we'll just kind of compare it to the 2020 model that's next to it. And uh, right now, I think the 2014 is looking better than the 2020. So yep. let's just go take a little walk around and check it out. See, it's such an amazing job that he did because it's, it's a big job. But uh, it's worth it to have a professional come in and polish your camper if, you know, if that's what you need to have done, so. What do you think, Carla? It looks great. It looks, I mean, I would say it looks, you know, just yep. goes a brand new one. It really does. It looks amazing. It's been, a, like I said, a couple of weeks. It's been in the garage. So I've kept it clean. Uh, with, like I said, we do, obviously, we do have two campers here, and... This one over here uh, that we had polished, we will be selling it. Uh, buyer's coming down to look at it tomorrow and and uh, hopefully he'll buy it and, uh, and love it because it is a great camper. It's in fantastic condition. Yes. But it, I mean, it really looks like new though, doesn't it, Carla? It really does. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, just to look at the two there, you really can't tell much of a difference. Honestly, I think this one is a little bit shinier than our 2020, it needs to be polished up. So we will probably have Tyler come back out and do a once over on the 2020 model. And uh, just to get to give a light buff, it's not bad. The oxidation on it is not much, but uh, I could use a little polish, just get it cleaned up, make it look as good as our 2014 that we have here. Yeah. Let's walk on around to the driver's side. Kind of hard to tell with the shadows and, and all, and it is after six o'clock in the evening, so it's getting a little dark here. But you can tell it looks great. Now we did take, I did take the sticker off the front, and that one still has the sticker, obviously. Um, but 
We just wanted the shiny front on this one. I mean, you can see the reflection and the glare. Tyler's the man, isn't he? Yes, he is. When it comes to polishing fi fiberglass, whether it's a boat, uh, molded fiberglass, RV, whatever, really, uh, to have any have a professional come out and do it that really knows what they're doing. Um, you can do it at home. I've done it at home. Uh, it's a big job. Um, but, you know, professionals that do it every day, you know, they typically do a little bit better job. Yeah. You know, I mean, I gotta, I gotta give it up to him. Even though I can do a really nice job, he's gonna do a better job. Yes. <laughs> and um, we'll, we'll put his information below if you're interested in having him polish yours. If you're any, anywhere in the local Atlanta area. Yeah, North Georgia area. Uh, you can you know, give him a call and work, try to work something out. And uh, so that's about it. Uh, appreciate you sticking around, watching the video, just checking out what a good professional can do when they polish. Uh, camper and use the right stuff to do it and uh, again thanks for sticking around hit the like button share subscribe all that good stuff and we'll see you next time on runaway roses bye 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 bye